uh, when I was about a junior in college. There was this guy that came to the college I was at recruiting and uh, the flyer said that this guy was going to the moon. And I, I hadn't planned on going to the moon because I was going to build airplanes actually. So uh, I went to the area where they were having this presentation and I was the only person there beside this strange looking guy and the administrator for the school and I walked up and this guy stuck his hand out and he said, I'm Warner Von Braun. And I was stunned because I didn't know who Warner Von Braun was. All I know is he's making a pitch. So I sat there and listened to this pitch and I thought it was really good. So I, I came down to Huntsville and after I got here I went through my intern interview, not an interview, but it's, uh, the presentation and the guy that walks out on the stage is this Warner Von Braun guy. And I was stunned, of course, this time I knew who he was, but I didn't know who he was, <laughs> okay? So anyway, he goes through his thing, and, and the reason I'm telling this story is because th there's a key kick line to this story. I re he's talked for an hour and a half, and the only thing I remember him saying that the people are the most important thing at Marshall Space Flight Center, and that has stuck with me my entire career. I just remember him, all the neat stuff he'd come back from work with, and all the interesting stuff. He talked about the Apollo and he talked about the shuttle and all the, just a, uh, to me it was neat. We're, this is a rocket city and I, he was part of it and it just part of that, I guess, got in my blood and I thought, I just thought when I got older I'd like to try, you know, maybe fit in his shoes. Laying in bed on a Saturday morning and my phone ringing over and over again and I'm, our, I'm our, the shuttle launch manager here at Marshall Space Flight Center and that morning it kept going off. I thought it was my kids' friends and I heard a man's voice and I got scared. I thought one of my kids had gotten hurt or a family member and found out that Columbia had gone down. And uh, it, it was chilling because I was our contingency coordinator for the center as well. And I got our group of guys, we, we met, and uh, just, you know, just the dev just the, it was just a surreal feeling. We got in a room and said, guys, what we gotta do? We had to get a, a room set up so we could do all of, our, uh, all of our working groups, get our working and start doing all kind of fault tree analysis. I was helped facilitate all those different groups and it was a uh, it was very it was a very surreal feeling being I guess directly uh, a part of that and just how it kind of affected me. I was devastated when I saw that I just didn't believe that could happen you know we weren't prepared for that uh, well, like Scott said we go through a lot of pains doing uh, fault tree analysis failure mode and effects to make sure that we got everything covered and when you see even like the uh, the Challenger was another one I mean I was stunned and I'll tell you what, you get a feeling in the pit of your stomach that you won't forget. It is terrible, I, you know, because we're all part of that. It's like somebody took a hunk out of you. We, we, we're really good, I think, at soul searching. Yeah. Don't you, Scott? Yeah. We really get into that. Uh, why do we, how, what happened? What, 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 and another thing is we really focus on the issues, not on each other. Yeah. So that, that's an important thing, to get to the root causes of the problems and make sure we don't do that stuff again. You'd be surprised, outside of this family, how many people love space flight. It's ingrained in who we are. That's why we're all, I mean, we're all here in, from a, different countries. You know, we're, we're, we're explorers. And when I go to these schools and talk to these kids, you would not believe the fever these kids. They scream, they love space exploration. The decision I made to come here was the best decision in my life. And I've talked to other guys here that are my age and we all believe that we've had the best careers, the decisions that we made were good, and I'd like to encourage these people because we're always climbing to do better, to get best solutions, to get best results, so you're always trying to achieve and go up the line to do better. So if you want to explore who you are and try to make the best that you can, I mean, this is the place to be. And just the best decision in his life mm -hmm. affected my life because that's why I'm here. You know, it's a it's a great place.